Hi, I'm Jim Watt. Welcome to Fly Fishing Video Magazine. And the Rio Grande River here in Chile's Tierra de Fuego. I'm Kelly Watt. Sea-run brown trout along with a healthy population of resident fish is what brings anglers here to this part of the Rio Grande. I think it's my day, Jimmy. Huh? Rafa, bien en el fondo, son, eh? You know, I, I was kind of scratching the bottom because I thought I'm going to try to go deeper. So I touched one, two, three rocks, you know, I felt them. And then suddenly, <laughs> I thought I hooked a big rock, so I went like, get out of here. <laughs> and I just punched him, and he'd go like, whoa, crazy, you know, back and forward. A rock that swims, the best kind. This is Martino Farrell, a close friend who, even after years of guiding and fly fishing, gets ballistic when he hooks a good fish. We're on the Rio Grande River in Chile, on the island of Tierra de Fuego, fishing for sea-run brown trout. Jim and Martin had made a pass through this pool before, touching, they thought, a fish or two, but not getting a hook into one. They were sure, though, there were fish there. It just was a case of getting a fly to them. Martin's yeah. using a 9-foot, 8-weight rod with a teeny 200 shooting head line. It's a 25-foot, 200-grain shooting head manufactured to a small diameter running line, so an ideal line for this kind of water. He's using an olive woolly bugger tied on a number 6, 2X long hook. We're using level 4-foot, 12-pound leader, attached to a 40-pound stiff butt section of about 12 inches. Our guide is Rafael Gonzalez Itura, who lives in Punta Arenas, Chile, and grew up fishing these waters with his grandfather. Martin O'Farrell is a guide and outfitter in Argentina and is now organizing trips to Tierra del Fuego, both on the Chilean side as well as in Argentina. Though he's a splendid guide and outfitter, Martin's real love lies with exploring...